Hi YouTube, and this is J Train 997, and I'm back this time with my review of the GI Joe Pursuit of Cobra Steel Marauder Mobile Mech Suit with Kickstart. Of course, get a good look at them in packaging here. Of course, it says it has featuring features and opening claw, and it's also got its missile launcher over here. Of course, um, these new mech suits are kind of retooled from the Sigma Six line. Um, their previously released mech suits, although they definitely still look really cool. You can see Kickstart down here in packaging. Of course, um, one other thing about this is up here, you've got your little hub network sticker. Of course, that's the new channel starting up sometime soon, and it's going to feature the new um, G.I. Joe Renegades cartoon. But over here, you've got a picture of Kickstart, and your little spiel about G.I. Joe that comes with every figure. Over here, a picture of the Steel Marauder. Really cool picture. On the back here, you've got all your different little features that says opening capture claw, opening cockpit, Gatlin cannon fire six missiles, fully posable mobile mech suit, removable arms interchangeable with Cobra Deviant mobile, bleh, mobile mech suit, sold separately. Over here you got kickstart and it says from the pursuit of Cobra jungle assault and up here it says the Steel Marauder mobile mech suit boosts strength and speed to tremendous levels. The highly advanced battle armor gives the G.I. Joe team powerful support and firepower in the battle against Cobra. So um, the last thing we'll be having a look at before we open the package up is Kickstart's file card down here. And it says, Kickstart is an expert in electrical engineering, bioengineering, and computer technology for the G.I. Joe team. This Caltech alumnus and diehard gamer understands every microcircuit of the team's advanced mobile mech suit. During a jungle mission, he uses the suit to deactivate an electrical perimeter warning system and subdue Cobra troops, giving the team easy entry into a Cobra facility. So, um... Very excited to have this guy. This is gonna look awesome in my collection. I can already tell. Let's pull this bad boy out of the packaging. And as always, we're gonna be having a look at the figure before the vessel itself. And Kickstart is a very nice Joe. Um, his only accessory is his helmet with his flip down night vision goggles. But um, he's got the standard articulation for Joes. Goes up, does a 360, spins and bends at the elbow, wrist joint. Um, tiny bit hindered by his shoulder, I mean his chest armor, which is all removable. As you can see the pegs back here. Um, same for both arms. Double joint at the knee. Legs go forward, out, back and forth. Ankle joint. And of course head spins. Oops. And pops off if you're not too careful. But pops right back on. And does up and down very slightly. So, um, very nice figure. I wish we would have once again... It seems like they're not giving us a whole lot of weapons with these figures. I wish they'd at least all get one gun. But um, that being said, let's go on to the mo um, mobile mech suit itself. And here we have the Iron Marauder mobile mech suit out of packaging after full sticker application. And it is a very nice looking mech. Of course, let's get a full 360. Sticker application definitely wasn't a nightmare either. Only a few of them gave me a little bit of trouble. The tiny little triangles. I can never get those things to go where I want them to. But um, of course, it's action features, it's pincer claw, as you can see there, and it's cannon, which you go back here in this big knob, you just turn it, and that fires the missiles. Of course, let's pop those back in really quick. Oops. One second while I get all these back in here. There we go. So, a very nice looking mech. Actually, let's get a look up here, and you can see all the stickers, the little readouts, but you can actually see Kickstart in there. Very nice. Of course, there's some really great detail all down this mech. Lots of wiring and circuitry. Of course, let's set the camera back down really quick, pan back out. As far as articulation, your mech suit can do a full 360 at the waist. As you can see here, let's go in, out, forward, and back. Well, as they don't seem to bend at the knee, unless I'm missing something. Um, ankle joint moves has a very wide range of movement, up, down, side to side. Very nice. Of course, let's spin this guy around. The arms have a very nice range as well. Of course, they turn right here, and then you've got up, down. Then another right over here. Of course, they all spin. Of course, same for both arms. Um, 
And you've also got these two machine guns right here on the front, which can do a full 360. Well, almost. The way the arm, the things that hold the arm are attached, you can't really get them to spin past that. But let's actually get Kickstart out of here really quick. Um, I really dig how they've got the control set up for this guy. Let's actually go get a look in here. You can see him holding his controls. Let's pull him out. Oops, not this night vision goggles off. But um as you can see the controls are very articulate as well. You can put them in a lot of different poses. And finally a size comparison to kickstart. Of course, get his ankle bent back. And there you go. So a very massive mech. Um and the great thing about this is it's only gonna be about twenty bucks once it hits retail. Um, I personally got mine off BigBadToyStore.com. I got mine with the um, Cobra Mech. Um, by the time I make that review, I'll post a link in the bottom. It won't be up. Um, when I first post this review, it probably won't be done. So, But very nice. Um, also, on the side here, there's a little extra notch, which I've just got some extra things lying around from one of the old Rhinos I have. You can actually pop these in here, give them an extra weapon, as you can see there which really look nice. And of course, um, when you do get your Cobra mech out, what I was getting at, you just pull these off and you can swap the arms out. So overall, only going to be 20 bucks when it finally does hit retail. Um, or you can get these in a set off BigBadToyStore.com for 40 bucks now. That is an absolute steal. This is a great mech. Um, yes, it's kind of reused from Sigma 6, but I didn't get to buy those when they first came out. so. This is definitely a solid pickup for me, and this is JTrain997 saying I'll see you soon, YouTube.